humor me for a minute here. What I'd like to try to do is get a little video documentation of uh, what my crummy little workspace basement is like uh, for posterity. And because I'm sure in a couple months it's going to evolve and look totally different than this. So I may as well try to like capture a video portrait in time. Um, all right, so here's some of the story. Here's my stairs. Yeah, to the basement, right? Come down there. And originally at the bottom of the stairs was a bench that was this bench. You'll see a kick-ass patina. That was where there was a vice at some point. I screwed to it. That was not mine. I screwed a different vice to it. Over on this corner. Uh, it took me a while to get comfortable with the fact that I would work on somebody else's workbench. I ended up sanding the shit out of it with 60 and Danish oiling it and trying to really move into it. Um, next to it is the my first bench that I ever built. Big ass, just like butcher block, two by fours, some more pine. I had some oak, like oak two by fours. In retrospect, I probably should have repurposed them for something else, but they were just sitting around doing nothing, so. Glued and clamped the shit out of it. This is all glued and clamped joints and weird, just kind of poor joinery, but all glued and clamped, so there's no screws. The only screws are Craig screws holding the top on. Um, I think I hit a couple of Craig screws down here. This shelf board here is a sheathing board from a house from 1755. We've done a ton of work on cool shit like that. So anyways, this is like original crap factory. Um, so this is where I started out doing all of, any of my little bits of repairs was on the original bench there. And then this has kind of evolved into this. I ended up eliminating one half of the bench because it was a total piece of shit. And the more comfortable I got with the space, the more I realized I don't need to honor the guy from the 1940s or 70s or 60s, whatever, who like built that out of pallets and shit. I can just save the cool part and move on with the rest. So uh, I'll show you where the other part is. Here's another crap factory thing. This is an airline tourister suitcase. And you can see some of the suitcase. Um, it's a weird rig out, it's all hinges and shit mod podged on there and some felt, it's like copper tacks, it doesn't scratch up the surface, it also covers the terrible um, jigsaw cutting I did. A little cleat down there for, oh that the hinges mount on, this thing is hinged they flap down and this part flaps down and I don't know, it's the whole thing. Here's my pedal board I made out of deck boards, scraps of shit. It's all crap on there except for my uh, Sahat electronics. Putro. Things so fucking weird. I do a sound sound playing around with that one, but anyways, I keep those kind of covered up. My wall of amplifiers. Currently borrowing Jeff's Delta King, Oscar Schmidt Delta King. Thing fucking rules. That guitar is the best work that I've ever done on a guitar. It already had, look, it's so like dismissible. It had Grovers on it. It had a nut, bone, uh, plastic nut. I made a bone nut for it. Did a really nice job. And then I put these Seymour Duncans in. That's it. And then I like set it up and shit. But new pickups and a new nut. And this guitar is like the sickest. So good. This Carvin 218 and 1974 PV Musician, I believe. This is uh, Old Piles Bass Rig. These guys up here. This little guy on the right is my usual amp. Orange is what I've been currently playing out of. My cool silver tone setup. 
the speaker currently doesn't work. I don't, I'm not sure why I haven't investigated because uh, I like to do woodworking, not electronic stuff more. Anyways, all right, so moving over here. It's a big wooden stand that I built for Makita table saw. One of these. Yeah, so if you know what that is, you know what that is. So, uh, 